Hey YouTubers, JNB here with another Saturday night live stream. Family reunion. Try like silver, welcome. DC Bingo, welcome. Michael Eves, welcome. Fear No Evil, welcome. Cosette, welcome. Andrew's Hobbies, welcome. Greg Snedeker, welcome. Wow, turned my head and all kinds of people came in. <laughs> David Linares, is welcome. Jeremy, welcome. Barbara, welcome. Scott, welcome. S. Robbins, welcome. Vonda, welcome. Undefined What, welcome. Jesse, welcome. HCC Brett, welcome. Coin Collector Ohio, welcome. Unicorn Perspective, welcome. Glenn McBride, welcome. Freddie Ortiz, welcome. Wheat Penny Hunter, welcome. Scott Hall, Robert Henry, Ida Herring, Stacking Stobuck. Ambrosius, P. Nelson, Smurf Girl, Moss Man, Tony Zampano, Jeff France, Jovan, Dominic, Mischief, Joseph Clark, Fear No Evil, P. Nelson, Scott Hall, Mr. Blam, Michael Brooks, Leanne, The Lions Club, and I think I'm caught up. Wow. <laughs> Welcome all. Oh, hope you guys had a good week and you're ready for this. A little release, a little fun. Crazy 4th of July weekend. Ah, coin collectors almost to 300. Congratulations. Ida, we're breathing. <laughs> Jamie, welcome. Uh, Tony and Hero, same thing. We're breathing. We're doing okay. Um, Jesse, welcome to your first time. Hopefully, you're going to have a great time tonight. Uh, if you do, and if you're a subscriber, you're a member of the family. So, welcome to the family at that point. Um, let's see. D. Reese, welcome. D.W., welcome. NG Coins, welcome. Lisa Ralph, welcome. Michelle, welcome. Freddie Ortiz, first time here too. Congratulations, thank you, welcome. And same thing, if you if you like it and you subscribe, you become a regular, you're part of the family, man. So welcome. Um Let's see. Charles Travis, <laughs> we can start now. Welcome, Charles. Richard Hicks, welcome. Christy B, welcome. Tiny, I didn't see Tiny. Is Tiny here? Coin Captain, welcome. DW, welcome. Papa Yodio, welcome. Michael Lee is welcome. I heard Tiny's doing better and possibly might be up making a sneak peek tonight, but I don't I didn't hear that firsthand, so I don't know for sure. Uh, but that would be great news. Rockin' welcome. Um uh, Whoa, screen's popping around. Um, let's see. Glenn McBride hit the jackpot the other day on W's. Found two and a half rolls of W's. Wow. That is a good score. David Dottavio, welcome. Joe Layton, welcome. Biking Productions, welcome. Rocky, welcome. Jesse, welcome. Q 
Keanu Lee, welcome. Keanu is one of the ones we were looking for, wasn't he? Okay. All right. All right, so we're good there. Um, Stacy Cook, welcome. If I didn't say so already. Mr. Breeze, welcome. Wade Hendricks, welcome. Glad you finally made it. Jesse, if you're asking us, we know we've got Twitter. <laughs> we've got Facebook. We've got jbcoinsinc.com, which is our website. And we have the YouTube channel, but we don't have um, Let's see. We're up to 72 and 49 thumbs up. All right, I'm going to start, start uh, the intro. You have a coin worth a million dollars. That's interesting. Good for you. Congratulations. Um, fear no evil. All right, for you new folks, this is... Uh, if it's your first time, you're new. Aspasia Arvanitis, welcome back. Um, I'm Jay. My beautiful bride behind me is B. That's J and B coins. And those are not our names. They're just our initials that we use uh, for personal security reasons, obviously. Uh, maintain some an anonymity. Um kind of for a reason. <laughs> um, one of the things that if you're new that you want to know is this is a family oriented channel and we mean it in every aspect of that phrase. It's a G-rated channel. We don't tolerate cursing. We don't tolerate dirty jokes. We don't tolerate misbehavior. You need to treat each other with respect and no, no foul language, that kind of thing. We've got a lot of kids watching a lot of families watching with their kids, moms, dads, grandpas, little ones, and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear your husband's in the hospital. I hope he gets better quick. JP, welcome. Um, and that's an example. I mean, we have we, we check on each other and we pray for each other when, when somebody gets sick or has something bad happen, uh, suffers a loss. Um, we help each other out. So we, we, we really have become, by pronouncement of the subscribers, basically, that we are a family. We're not just a channel. So this is the JB Coins family once you become a subscriber and become part of it and adhere to those, um, those rules of the family, basically. Uh, other than that, um, we do things a little different, which is, you know, that's one of them, obviously, a big part of it. But um, we, in each box, we do not mark coins. So what we do, though, is in every single box, we have five marked rolls. Paper edge is marked, okay? The, 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 the ring created by the crimper on the end of the roll on the wrapper you're going to have three of them that are black. They represent 40 per silver. You have one that is green. That represents a Benji. And you have one that is red, and that represents a Walking Liberty. Now, those are in every box. So you got three 40 percenters, a Benji, and a Walker guaranteed in every single box. That's not counting enders or anything that might be in the rolls that we might find, okay? We unfortunately don't have any boxes tonight with visible enders, but we don't know what's inside. And we've had some real good surprises lately. So, uh, Wade, welcome. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be an epic night tonight as well. And... Let's see, Mr. J, I was told last night that I didn't belong in the stream because they didn't do prayers or goody two-shoes things for the people. As you can imagine, they're not on list anymore. <laughs> Good girl. More people ought to tell them that. So, appreciate it. Tommy, welcome. Ringo, welcome.
Oh, I'm going to try this one. Klebe Joaquim Joaquim. I hope I said that right. So, um, family channel, family culture, and um, respect each other, as we said. But at the same time, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of laughs. Uh, a lot of folks have made a lot of friends um, offline. We've got folks that are in the hospital. We keep track on them, and um, we, we, we do our best to cheer them up, make them feel better. Joe from Red Bay, welcome. More Chuck, welcome. Where can I buy the mint set? Uh, we don't sell any mint sets here. A <laughs> um, little more detail might be able to help you out. Um, Michigan, welcome. All right, cool. Um, Barbara, welcome. Jen, welcome. You did a 2019 W Mint Set review. Ah, you would buy that through the U.S. Mint at usmint.gov. We don't actually sell those. We do have a link to the Mint on our website, jbcoinsinc.com, um, but we don't sell them. Patricia, welcome. Jimmy, welcome. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, welcome. Alex Bryant, welcome. Welcome back, man. It's a whole new world from when, I don't know how old you are, but from when I started, it's a whole new world, man. We didn't, we, all we had was those little blue books from Whitman to push pennies into and stuff, not realizing that was the worst thing we could do is shove bigger, big old thumbprint, you know, on the coin. Um, and you could take them out and spend them on candy and junk, you know. Um, and not much in the way of reference material for kids. Um, go away, kids, you bother me. Um, Smurf Girl, welcome. You taking off? Kim, welcome. And Caden, hopefully, welcome. Let's see. All right, so what we got tonight, we got 97 watching. We got 65 thumbs up. When we get to 100 thumbs up for you new folks, that is one of our trigger points that we use as a benchmark. We use the thumbs up as a benchmark of one of the groups of giveaways that we do. So when we hit 100, we do a giveaway. When we hit 150, 200, 250, 300, and on, in intervals of 50, in other words, we do more giveaways. Okay, and there's certain prizes for those. Let's see, Bonnie, J, A, and B are here, but having a bit of a hard time adjusting, so they aren't their normal cheerful selves, but they're waving at you. Hey, guys, hang in there. We're going to have fun tonight, okay? Um, Evna, welcome. Alexis, welcome. Um, you should write below... Right below the screen, there should be a thumbs up and a thumbs down. The thumbs up on my screen says, let's see, i got to come this way, it says 81 right now, 82, and one thumbs down already. So if you're on a cell phone, it's different uh, based on the cell phone. Somebody said that you had to hit the X. Tiny's here. Welcome, Tiny. Thank God, man. You're up. You're you're alive. You're you're breathing. You're 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 back amongst us. You you still in the hospital, man? You doing all right? Oh yeah, and Zoe, and a little Zoe, gotta be doing good. So any improvement, tiny? I know you were really, the last update I got, you were really, really hurting. You were in ICU and, and things were not good. Um, you know, they got you off some of the machines anyway. Well, you're going to be in there for a while, dude, after being in ICU. But, but I mean, at the least, you know, 
on my phone, I have to hit the back button and then come back to live chat. All right, cool. Keanu, welcome again. Um, E-Dog, welcome. Bobby Browning, welcome. Jesse, yes, we'll be starting very soon here. We're just, tiny has been in the hospital. You, you did die. You did actually die. I was, I was kind of cur- concerned about that, considering the condition you were in. Um, it's a weird feeling, isn't it? <laughs> Not the dying part, because you really don't get that part, but the waking up part is a little weird. Um, so I'm glad you woke up, and hopefully you continue to recover. Um, and... Um, just do what they tell you, man. Kenny Springer, welcome. Tony Zampano, welcome. John Phillips, welcome. All right, so giveaways tonight. Gifts from Barbara and John and Johnny and us. Uh, this is how you secure rolls. We have no more penny rolls for the end of the box, so we will have couple of Mr. Washington's. We'll have a couple of Barbara's one, envelopes. One Washington. Oh, one Washington? And one Bald Eagle. Oh, I'm sorry. So one Washington and one Bald Eagle. And then two of Barbara's uh, Bicentennial sets, which are awesome. I never saw them until she sent them to us. We've got a copper round. We've got an Indian head penny. And a set. Oh, 1892 and 1893? Okay. And then we have two 90% 1964 Silver Kennedys, 90%ers. And if we hit 300 on the like meter, we have a 71S proof D-cam, 69 DCAM Silver Ike slabbed from PCGS. And anytime we do a giveaway, we use a third party or the uh, YouTube Uh, random name picker and you have one minute on the sand timer to claim your prize once we pick the winner and announce it as long as it's a qualified entry it's got to it's got to you got to follow the rules that's the only thing that we ask okay and we hit 100 so we're going to have a giveaway before we even uh, open the first roll which is not unusual around here um all right let's see funny money andrew medina undefined scriptonic welcome heather welcome montague welcome tiny i'm glad you came back man it uh like i say it's it's a very weird feeling and i i went through that three times when I had my surgery 10 years ago and that was, or nine years ago. It's, it's something you never forget. It's a weird, very, very weird experience. Um, Cosette, welcome. Bob Meyer, welcome. Glastron, welcome. Smokes, welcome. All right. So everybody, you want to get entered in the giveaway. If you haven't already, Donna Mac, welcome. Sweetie, do they know which? Okay, cool. Um, Freddie, I had cancer uh, nine years ago. So um, I I survived it nine years. I'm clear. I'm good. Um, But yeah, I I flatlined twice on the table and once in recovery. So it's kind of like I say, it's when you wake up, it, everybody sounds like the people from Peanuts, you know, wop, 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 and then you start hearing normal. So at least that's how it was for me. So anyway, positive thing. See, you can, you can overcome a lot. Alexis, welcome. Jerry Valencourt, welcome. Jim, welcome. All right. And yeah, Tiny, you're ordered to stay with us. Zoe needs you. We need you. You know, it's kind of one of those deals. Okay. So no, no more of that. 
don't don't try to, don't try like I did. <laughs> um, that would be nice. Giveaway. All right. So everybody that's entered, uh, make sure you refresh your screens so you don't have any lag, because you're going to have one minute from the time that Sweetie pulls the trigger here and comes up with a name. And when that sand runs out, your time runs out. And we call next, and we pull the next person. Welcome, GNP. Welcome, Yolanda. And that's what we're doing, David. We're getting this thing started. So how many entries do we have at this point? 90. Pretty good odds. Oh, and what, what are we giving away? Copper round. Copper round. Ah, there we go. Big old Lincoln copper round. That's Mus, 0.999, one ounce, pure copper. Okay, so let's pull a winner and get this thing going. Tommy Tints, welcome. Stack and Stobuck, going to have to check my proof nickel sets now. Thank you. Is that a good one? Okay. Start the timer. Stacking Stobuck, are you here? You have the amount of time that's in that sand. Little hourglass, which in this case is a minute glass. Traveling Treasure Hunter, welcome. Jeremy Witt, welcome. Stacking Stobuck. Joseph Clark, if I didn't say hi, welcome. I thought I said hi to Stack and Stobuck. Hopefully he's here and doesn't have a huge lag. There you go. Made it. Plenty of time to spare. Stack and Stobuck's here. Very nice hunk of copper there. Congrats. Move that. Let's get the tray up here. And a little screwdriver. And it's time to get this puppy moving. Smurf girl, you're starting us off. So, how many down, how many over? Oh, and there are, I said there were no enders. There are three um, Nifsies that are enders that are somewhere in the box. We mixed them in. So, we didn't see any silver enders, but we did see those. Mr. Blam, welcome. NGC Coins, welcome. Three by three. I like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. And Smurf Girl has seven rolls, right? Thank you. Ah, okay. All right, let's check for Mark Rolls. Black one. And look at that, 2012 Philadelphia Ender right on the very first roll. 2012 is a very desirable year for any coin, but especially for the half dollars. And then a 40% Mark Roll. So we'll... Get your 40 percenter up here, and I don't see any other markings or any other enders. So, let's start with a nice shiny 67. How's that? And let's open up this 2012 and see if it survived the crimper, because I hate when they're face up on the enders. But we get lucky sometimes. And these don't look like they're crimped that tight on some of these rolls, so we might get lucky. Come on, baby. Yeah, no crimper. 2012 Philadelphia. It's a very desirable year for NIFCs. NIFCs, not intended for circulation. Now, let's find some silvers. Some Balboas, another Nifsey, 2007 Denver. That thing is gorgeous. 
It doesn't have a mark on it that I can see. Emphasis on I can't see. Holy cow, 2008 Nifsey. And right behind it, another 2012 Nifsey Denver. One really faint, as I'm doing this, one really faint scratch that you can barely see if you hold it the right way. That's a really nice coin too. That's four already in the first roll. Make that five, 2006 Nifsey. This could be a really interesting box. <laughs> It already is on the first roll. All right. Makes me nervous when my hand stops like that. Arizona Coins, welcome. Tiny, yes. Four boxes. The fourth one is a full box. The fourth box has been purchased as a full box. Wayne, welcome. Two thousand eleven, Nifsey. This could be another one of those giant Nifsey boxes. We'll see how this goes. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's not in very good shape. The coin almost looked like it had a railroad edge where the uh, reading on the side of the coin wraps up over the rim. But the coin itself was pretty thoroughly trashed, so that would take away. It's not a real common year coin, anything special type thing. Um, and it's in really bad condition, so it probably wouldn't have any value. So we tossed it back. We got something shiny coming up. 2012P, another one. Real rulers, right, on some of these, they're just like signal iron. They're absolutely gorgeous. David, welcome. Traveling treasure hunter. I think I said hi, but I'm not sure. Sean Craven, I think I said hi, but again, not sure. Welcome. Tiny, really glad you're here, man. I don't know, as you know, how this works. I don't know how much I'll be able to look over and, and talk to you, but, you know, I wish I could. Um, I'm just really glad that you're at least feeling better enough to be here and be in the chat, you know. That's, uh, that's kind of like when Sonny I came back after his surgery. You remember what that was like. It just it just lifts the whole thing, man. I was already kind of amped up getting started, and that just that just makes my night, man. Mike Harrington, welcome. Colorado Coins, welcome. What, sweetie? Talking to yourself. You... You don't have a cell phone thing on. Back in the day, if you didn't have a cell phone thing on and you were talking to yourself, people thought you were crazy. Oh, you have a dog on you? <laughs> he did that to me last night during the thunderstorm. 2008 Denver Nifsey. I was sitting here trying a coin roll hunt for a video that we're shooting. And we had, the last couple of nights, we had a series of boomers. And, you know, uh, 4th of July, we went from thunderstorm to fireworks to neighborhood fireworks back to really close in thunderstorm. And poor dog was crying. He was freaking out. Um, 
So, you know, I took a break and then just kind of lay down on the bed and let him curl up on the bed. And he's not normally allowed to to do that, but um, that that kind of calmed him down, I thought. And and then the next night, I think it was last night, I was doing the coin roll hunting and I'm sitting here at the chair and the thunderstorm rolled in and I didn't, I just unplugged everything and didn't really pay any attention to it. And I'm going along. Yeah. Well, he's, he's actually behaving pretty good. He's just got his front paws up on her lap and, and he's, he's content, you know, where he's at. Last night, this 70 pound dog was trying to climb, literally climb, uh, get his back legs up on my lap, put his front paws up on my shoulders while I'm sitting in a chair up against the table. It was uh, it was pretty funny. Um, she didn't get here in time to take a picture because that would have been that would have been funny. Uh, all right, so we got a lot of Nipsies over there, and we got the silver from the marks from Mark one. So we have three plus four. Is that what you mean by the plus four? Oh, just four. Okay. So um, could you hand me the bag, sweetie? It's over there. Sorry. I'm kind of wired up here. Thank you. Mr. Detectorist, welcome. All right. So we owe Smurf Girl a, um, a poll from the other night. We shorted her one, so she actually gets four pulls instead of three. So good luck. William, welcome. Um, you assume we sell coins. <laughs> That's really not a joke. We, we don't sell coins very often. Uh, very, 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 very rarely. 40 percenter. Let's see. 68. That was number two, correct? That was number one. I got to concentrate. 40 percenter on number two. 69. Number three is a blank. Number four is a blank. Okay. So, Smurf Girl has three silvers, three 40 percenters, and then eight Nipsies. And several of them are the 2012 key date, so that's cool. If you guys have not checked out the NIFC video about what key dates you're looking for in terms of value. Definitely check it out so you know. I mean, look how shiny those things are. Um, so you know which ones are the most desirable in terms of value and the hardest to find, obviously. Um, let's see. Hello, Angie. Hello. Okay, all right, so next up. Congratulations, Smurf Girl. Thanks for being here as always. Um, Ida, uh, any year we know about within the NIFSI years are included on the list of Kennedy half dollars. And I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know there's a couple. 
Um, yeah, I, I know there's a couple of them there uh, during the Nifsey years. Um, in, in fact, the entire Kennedy series, there's, there's a couple of patches where there are not something to look for. But otherwise, the series is almost like pennies. It has a lot to look for. I think the error list on that one's up to five or six pages now, something like that. We just recently updated it um, not too long ago. So Mossman's up. Mossman's got 10 rolls. Ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep. I don't see anything on those. No marker rolls. Oh, look at that. A beautiful 2006 Nifsey and the red one. He's got a walker coming his way. That's what we mean by marking a roll. You can do it very easily and not damage the underlying coin. So, for pulling the red one, he's got a 1937 Walking Liberty. 90 percenter. Not bad to start out, huh? Real Rulers here, welcome. Tried like silver. Um, I want to let everybody know, since we got 136 folks watching, Tried like silver, we all know him as Project Aletheia. Um, and basically, he was using Project Aletheia to do two channels on there. He was doing his coin channel stuff on... Project Aletheia, right? Okay, so he, so, all right, so he, he, so he basically, what he did is he opened a channel yesterday for coins, and that's called Tried Like Silver, okay, and we checked it out today, we were looking at, we, we looked at, uh, it's got two or three videos up, I think, and giveaways, and he's got like two, three likes on some of these videos, on a couple of the videos. So we all know him as Project Aletheia. He's been here all the time. He's a great guy, and he's trying to build a channel, and, you know, two, three likes. I think we can help him out with that when we get, you know, when you guys get some time. Pop over there, maybe give him some subs and some views. Um... He's an awesome guy. He's part of the family, and uh, I just I, I just think it would be a, a really sweet thing to do. Um, and uh, Project, your class act, man, we're glad to have you as a family member, and good luck with the channel. 2006 P. Obviously, that was a Nifsey. Here's a 2005 P. Another signal uh, mirror version another 2006 P signal mirror some of them are a little smoother and shinier than others and then the newer ones the most recent ones they change the shape and there's another 2006 it's not a it's not quite a signal mirror it's it's got a little bit of uh, um, I'm not sure what you'd call it it's just not, it's not flawless, okay? Um, but it's still a beautiful coin. But around 2014, I think, or 2015, they changed the contour of those coins um, from the flat face. I don't know how they exactly did it, but, but the contour of the coin went from the flat face that gives you this effect here and the letters are very flat and you can see the contour from the head through the letters to the edge is very flat 2014 to present there's there's a 
curved contour where it's concave. It looks like you're going from his head uphill to the, to the rim, which hopefully, now that I think about it, would lower the cheekbone, which is usually the first thing that gets destroyed on a half dollar. Um, you find a lot of them where the coin's perfect both sides, but the cheekbone's been eroded away because it was the highest point of the coin. Here's a 2007 Denver. Very nice looking one. Um, so hopefully that'll do that, but it's just a beautiful, it just creates a beautiful contrast on the coin. Just that subtle little change. And here's a 2008D. There's another nice one in gorgeous shape. And um, so, so those are, those are really awesome. And um, there's also, I believe it's the 2018 or the 2019. We just did a video on it not too long ago um, that has the, the crater air on his face. So it has the curvature going for it. It has the finish going for it. And it has the crater going for it. And all silver coins, which a silver proof or a uh, clad proof would also be a Nipsey, the half dollars, okay, in the mint sets. But silver, all of the silver coins in the mint set that's, you know, the silver mint set, the half dollar, the quarter, the dime, uh, and half, that's the quarter, dime, half dollar are all now bullion grade from now on. These are 90%, the, the, the S proof version are 90% like the walkers and that used to be, but all the new silver is bullion grade, just like buying a, uh, an American Eagle. So how cool is that? MJ, welcome. Katie Scrapper, welcome. Moss Man, you're doing good so far. 83P, yeah, got an FG. 77, no D, and clad rim. Tweedledee, welcome. Oh, yeah, Tweedledee, um, when that used to happen when, when the kids were little, um, I, am, I am guilty as sin of not liking sunscreen or suntan lotion or any of that kind of goop on me. Uh, so I usually would wind up getting crispy. 2009 P one of my favorite years 2009 anything we want to hoard um, and so i would always get crispy and they would they would tease me 2012 d and then the two the two uh oldest daughters at the time uh, were old enough that 2006 d nifsey you're killing it here moss man that they would break out what they called the blue goo and you can get it where you get sunscreen and suntan lotion and it's a the stuff we got was a blue color and it had aloe and it had um i can't remember the the medicine it's it's a uh it's like a, a local topical um you know pain relief and they would they would rub that into my sunburn that i would rather get than wear the sunscreen so blue goo was my Best friend, <laughs> a long time ago. 2006 P, Nifsey. Man, Moss Man, you're kicking butt here. So if you don't have blue goo, get the blue goo with the uh, pain reliever and the aloe, and I guarantee you that will help. 
Oh, 74. Maybe we had a black beauty. The front is perfect. The back is all charred and kind of look almost the back looks like almost it was underground. The front is just perfect. Oh, well. Like my beautiful bride, perfect in every way. You don't tan, your freckles disconnect. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Two thousand seven Denver Nifsey. Another signal mirror. AC cranked and it's still hot in here. Or I'm still hot. Two thousand seven D and that one is definitely a signal mirror. That thing's gorgeous. Absolutely flawless. Two thousand five Denver, same thing. Look at that. Running out of room on the screen here. Move them up here a little bit, see if they show. <laughs> All right, I wish I wish I knew how to do that. But a the way we do this, we do it intentionally so you all can see that we're not doing that. And B, it's something that just goes against my grain anyway. Two thousand six Denver. Another one, 2009 Denver. Another flawless one. Another one of my favorite years, too. Oh. I was going to say, that's all we got out of those rolls, but man, you got what, 15 Nipsies over there? And a Benji? And you got six pulls coming. Way to go, man. Good luck, Moss Man. And welcome. Blink on the first pull. Puppy, you smell silver over there? Whoop, whoop. 40 percenter. Seven.
Number three is a 40 percenter. Whoops. Number four coming out. Blank. Five coming out. Ah, blank. One more. Forty percenter. That's a good way to end. There we go. So you got three forty percenters. You got the Walking Liberty, 1937. So there's four silvers right there. These are Moss Mans. And then 15 beautiful Nifsies, man. These things are absolutely gorgeous. He just doesn't, he hasn't, I don't think he's settled down since the, the fireworks and the storms. Okay. See if I can pick this up without dumping them. Yep. 15, nice shiny. <laughs> They don't get much newer than that, and they're not new. <laughs> so 15 Nifsies. I I don't even want to try that. Yeah. So thank you, baby. And thank you, Moss Man. Congratulations. You got quite a nice haul there. Next up, Daryl Ross. Leanne Beaumont, welcome. Daryl's got five rolls. Excuse me. Need some water, man. I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> Black one. 40 percenter. Beautiful 67. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, a lot of people put their dogs on doggy downers on 4th of July, too. I tried I tried turning, uh, while I was coin roll hunting, I had the music on my laptop cranked up a little louder than I normally listen to it, um, hoping that would drown out some of the sound, but it didn't. 2009 Denver, real nice one, and, oh, that's a pretty one. 1994 Philadelphia. It's got that pale gunmetal blue in the front. Whoop, low battery. Okay, so we should be unfrozen now. Yep. Okay, so that was that was due to the low battery. Planned event. All right. So anyway, 1994P, pale gunmetal blue on the front, all the way across. It's it's perfect. And you can hear him whining in the background. And then on the back, it's the same gunmetal blue around the rim, 
with a gold center and then some tone changes starting on uh, in between as it as it fills in. So it may fill out completely blue like that or it may turn into a full on rainbow on the back. Right now it only has two, maybe three colors on the back. The front is only one color. So that's a beauty though. We'll move that to the front and move the, the other Nifsi out of the way. This is not a Nifsi, by the way. This is a 1994 Philadelphia, I believe. That is a 2007 Nifsi. Yes, my love. Um, Sweetie wants me to remind you guys that if you make a donation to the PayPal, please do a couple things. First off, let us know what the donation's for. What it, that it's for rolls for tonight, um, or that you want to buy a coin list, or whatever it might be, because you might be buying a coin list from the jbcoinsinc.com website. And people do that during the live stream. And, and they don't put anything in the notes and it gets confusing as heck. And then also if you have um, a screen avatar that you go by, remember that when you send us the donation on PayPal, it's going to have your personal name and information. It's not going to have your screen avatar. So if you're using a different name on um, the live stream, put that in there so that we know to call you that and not call you out by your real information we, we really try to protect your privacy as much as we can but with that we need a little help so is that good babe mm -hmm. all right Chasing the gold, welcome. Five bucks a roll. Two thousand six Denver, Nifsy. Another nice one. Wow, two thousand nine P. Signal mirror. In fact, that thing's darn. That is a D. That, that is a cameo. That thing's a cameo. That's beautiful. Here's another one. Two thousand nine Philadelphia. Can't tell if that one's a cameo or not. It's not a decam because the background is is the wrong finish, but it it's uh it's it looks like a cameo to me because the um, the face is really shiny relative to the back. This one. Yes, no? You don't think so? Okay. Yeah, it, it is a very nice condition. I, I just don't, it's hard to tell. It's so pretty, it's really hard to tell. 2012D Nifsi. Nice shiny uh, silver color on the back and nice shiny gold color on the front, but it is a clad coin. So 2012 is a very desirable year. So toning just adds to that. So that's cool. And there's another 2012 with no toning. This box has a lot of nifsies in it. Yeah, Sharon, I, I agree. Deep, deep cams are absolutely gorgeous. Like Reverend Ike over here, he's just, he's, for a bald man, he, he's pretty. 
2006 P, another shiny Nipsey. Oops, dropped one. 94. 83 with the FG. Okay. And Daryl's got three pulls. Good luck, Daryl. Blank on the first pull. That's not the luck I was looking for. Blank on the second one. Hey, Caden. Oh, is Caden watching? Sorry. Last pull. Oh, blank on all three. Bummer. Sorry about the pulls, Daryl, but you got 140% silver, you got a rainbow, and then you got eight Nissies. Ten-year-old coins, some of them. So you got, there we go, 40% of rainbow and a stack of Nissies. Congrats, Daryl. Thank you very much. Next up, Tried Like Silver. Again, check out his channel, give him some views, some subscriptions. He's just like a couple days old, man. We gotta help him out. Get him off the ground. He has four rolls. And he's doing some giveaways over there too, if, if you need that as an incentive. <laughs> One fifty. So do we do the giveaway or do I start? Okay. We're going to do the giveaway, then we're going to do Tread Like Silver. So what's up next, sweetie? Indians. Hmm? Indians? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got... There you go. Yep. A couple of very hard dates here. You got 1892 and then 1893. Tough dates. We had 90. We have 118 entries now. That's cool. Good luck, everybody. Wicked little things. No, I do not have either mint mark for the 1981 nickel. I love your videos. Thank you. And... Perfect. Yep. Wicked little things. Angie, welcome if I haven't said so. Wicked little things is here. Congratulations. That didn't take long at all. There you go, sweetie. Thank you. Put this back down. Okay, double check for enders, no enders, and no, didn't look like anything, um, no nifties. Dave Mark, welcome. Of 
Going to your granddaughter, Riley. That's cool, man. Puppy, why are you crying? Two thousand seven D, other one. Whoops. A Rod, welcome. Two thousand nine D. Let's see. From Daryl Ross. Um, thank you, Daryl Ross. Uh, Daryl Ross just made a donation towards the camera fund, which we believe it or not, we are making progress with that. It's just that camera and the there, there's a there's a uh, a switcher they call it basically that that connects the camera to the computer and the USB microscope and all that kind of stuff. And there's a couple different switchers, and one switcher works with one camera, but the other switcher doesn't work with the other camera, and it's like, God, what a pain in the butt. <laughs> we'll get there. We're trying to get it pinned down. 2012 D Nifsey. And thank you so much, Daryl, and everybody that's donated. And Ida's going to make a really nice quilt, custom heirloom quilt for someone whose name will be on that list of donations that we have up on our website. Uh, no dollar amounts so that we don't embarrass anybody, you know, people give what they can. And so that's gonna be awesome. Uh, Charles, how you doing, man? Um, oh, Ambrosius, you're out there by the earthquake? I got a buddy that's 15 miles from there. He was like, ah, it's no big deal. Just like, yeah, I'm glad you're the one out there. <laughs> as long as he's okay, I can kid him about that. Wade, welcome. Um, all right, let's see. So, tried like silver, got three Nessies, got yeah. two poles. Wow. Yeah, the latest one, the, the, the latest one yesterday or today, I think, 40 percenter, I think they said was like 15 miles from my buddy's house. He's up in the high desert by Edwards. Um, 67, 40 percenter, and you got one more pole.
What clad Ike would be the best to look for? Hmm. Don't know. What do you think, sweetie? That's Ida. Um, B says, what do you mean by best? Best of value or best in terms of ability to find it in good condition affordably or three Nipsies and a 40 percenter. Try it like silver. Thank you very much. Congrats on the new channel. You're going to do just fine, man. Oh, man. Cold water. Um, value. Yeah, I had a look. So, key dates? Key dates she would get for the best value? I, I, I don't know. Value could be taken both ways, I guess. S. Robbins, J. Ask Mrs. B. if she got my email about PayPal. Okay, she'll check in a second. She wasn't on that page. Heather Campbell's up next. Got six rolls. Two for John. That doesn't add up right. She's got two for John and three for. Is this for her or for Kevin? Or, or how? I don't know. Okay. Heather, how am I breaking these up here? I've got. I've got six rolls. And I've got two for John, three for, I can't make that out. Um, oh, three for her. So that doesn't make sense because there'd be one more roll. Two for John and that's it. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So John, no marked rolls. Heather, no marked rolls. So these two are John's. Good luck, John. Two thousand eight Nipsey. Two thousand seven. Real nice Nipsey. What's Woody? I don't know if Real Rogue's still here. I haven't seen him for a while. Pretty much been trying to keep my nose stuck down in this so I don't lose track. This one's got a lot of shiny edges on it, so it it could have a few in here. Let's it could have this could be interesting. There's one. 2008 P.
2005 P. Another 2005 P. Did he miss his dinner? Okay, so those were John's. I need to segregate these. There's five Nipsies for John. Put those there. Because here comes 2008 for Heather. 2005 for Heather. I thought that was one for sure. That's a 2000. Do you need to water a bush or anything? Got any idea why he's whining like that? 2012. Nipsey. Puppy, what's wrong? Hmm? Want a piece of silver to chew on or something? <laughs> so the rolls you have to buy and give away your comment on the nickel video. Alexis, yes and no. Um, the, the nickel video gets you entered in all the free giveaways um, that are out here. The, um, there's also free giveaways for um, the, God, brain dead. Um, so yeah, all the giveaways are free. There's giveaways for the end of the box. There's giveaways for the number of thumbs up and all that kind of stuff. So that video gets you entered into all those free giveaways. If you buy rolls, then you get whatever we find of value in the rolls, plus you get pulls from the silver bag. And you're still eligible if you enter for the giveaways, win those as well. So, yeah, it doesn't improve your chances one way or the other um, of winning, but, um, but one was one is not mutually exclusive of the other. You can you can just totally enter into the giveaways and not buy a single roll and you know wind up winning something cool. Lots of folks have done it and then got addicted to it and and uh, are part of the family. So 2006 Nipsey. What, sweetie? Oh. Oh, yeah. You're not buying the rolls. You're, you know, this is a $10 roll. You're not getting $10 worth of, you know, half dollars. This is all going back to the bank. The person that bought these rolls will get these coins and whatever else we find in these two rolls, plus whatever we get from the silver pull bag. So, oh, 2007 D Nipsey seriously kissed by the crimper. But the rules say that those go to the owner of the roll, so. Do with it as you will when you get it. Ah, got the 
drops. Wade, right there is the instructions for uh, rolls if you want them. Ending uh, um, And then just make sure that you put in the comment section that the donation you're making is for rolls. And if you, in, in the case of Aspasia, obviously you're using your real name, so you don't have to put your avatar name. But if you were using like Mossman who just came up, you would want to um, put a note in there that you prefer, you know, to be called Mossman when we call you up for your roles, not, you know, not by your your real name, which is what the PayPal uh, account is going to send us. Okay. Now, Heather has three poles. David, don't forget, you got all of them except for the 70D. 1970D also was not intended for circulation. First pole was a blank. Ah, second pull was a blank. A third pull was a blank. Man, it's the first time tonight I've done that. Bummer. Ah, all right, so this batch of five shiny Nissies is for John. And another batch of five shiny Nessies for Heather. That worked out pretty well, actually. Okay. Congratulations, Heather. Thank you for being here as always. Water. Amazing how delicious cold water tastes sometimes. Been so it's been so steamy here with these thunderstorms when they roll out it's just last night the, the windows on the house were just completely condensed over and it was running down the windows and then my water bottle the water in the house not outside the water bottle in the house corner hunting uh, it was condensing and running down the bottle so I had to move it away from the coins uh, Robert Browning. Robert Browning has eight wolf. So, there's four, six, eight. There's John. There's Heather. Mm. Black one. Hmm?
Yes, Robbins, I think you could probably float a boat in here. <laughs> Bicentennial. What do you think, sweetie? It's toned, but I don't know if that... You think so? Okay. Toned Bicentennial. Kind of hard to see it because of the colors. Oops. Two thousand nine Philadelphia Nifty. <laughs> Ida, wannabes are good. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Two thousand seven Nifsey. This is the three that were written in the 2009 Philadelphia Nifsey. Wow, another 2009 Philadelphia Nifsey. I had a feeling what those three in the middle was going to be something nice. Bunch of shiny ones in this roll, kind of scattered around. 2008. 2009. Oh! Dropped around in 2008. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Where did I drop it? 2003. It's a little dirty, that's why I didn't notice at first. Oh, 76. Bicentennial wannabe. Got real pretty rainbow colors starting on the front and the back. Got a little bit of a stain right there on states. Be careful. Try You could try a dry cotton to a Q-tip and see if you could lift that off. Um, but I wouldn't use any chemicals of any kind, no water, because you could really harm that rainbow. So, wow, 2005 Denver, another gorgeous one. Wow, another 2012. Philadelphia. Another 2005 Denver. Holy moly, we got a bunch of them in this box. Uh, Tweedle, uh, to my knowledge, it's just the coins, but, um, sweetie, 
the low minage in 2009, does that apply to that year's issue of banknotes or not as much because, okay, no. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 2005D. With the banknotes, it's a series, 2009, but unless something changes, like a signature of one of the two folks on the front of the note, for example, Yeah, we uh, we did a video on that that, that B researched, uh, as always, um, really really informative um, video about it, and um, so they'll produce that until there's a change necessary. So it's over multiple years where the coin is just usually is just that year. There are some exceptions to that too, like the '64 and the bicentennials. Yeah, Matthew, 2009s are definitely the hardest ones to find. We did a video about that about two years or so ago to hoard 2009 nickels now, if you could find them, because we were noticing in, in corner hunting nickel boxes that we'd lay them out by year looking for the errors because there were so many. And there would always be a blank spot where 2009 was supposed to be, every single box. And we started researching the minage and all that kind of stuff. And the minage number for 2009 nickels is actually pretty respectable. But either people were hoarding them because of the market crash and the economy crashing, um, or you know, they got destroyed or whatever. They just, they, they aren't around. You can't find them. And so the value has gone through the roof. We caught a lot of flack on that video, but it's got, in two years, I think it's got 650 some thousand views. And, uh, and now they finally have acknowledged that the 2009s, in the case of the quarters, for example, are the lowest minage um, of the modern quarters. So just like the bicentennials, we find 2009 anything in nice shape, we put it away. Speaking of 2009, there's another Philadelphia Nipsey. Got 15 so far. A 2000, to give you an example, A Rod and Alexis, a 2009 box of nickels, which if you had gone to the bank and bought a box, it would cost you $100. Okay, and just like a $100 box of nickels today. They have been since around 2010. I believe around 2010, maybe 2011, or maybe even 2009. Um, but they have been holding steady at between $1,800 and $2,000 a box. I think a roll is around 38 to 40 bucks. Um, and it doesn't matter whether it's Philadelphia or Denver. So. About the only way you can seem to get them when not paying through the nose like that is to buy a proof set or a mint set from 2009. And then you at least have one. Because <laughs> if you go out and buy a, a, a 2009 nickel, for example, from a, from a dealer, you're going to pretty much pay for a P or a D. And I'm just, um, I haven't looked in a long time, so I could be off. But... If you went to eBay, for example, and picked up a 2009 P or D, you're gonna uh, you're gonna probably pay for sure if you bought both, um, but possibly even if you bought one, um, 
you probably would pay what the what the set cost um, for all those coins, and they're all two thousand nines. So. And you would get you would get PND in the mint set, so possibly you'd have to buy PND individual for it to 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 match the mint set price. But I'm not a hundred percent on that. Probably my sweetie knows it, but let's see. Robert Browning, and you got a bunch of Nipsies out there, and a couple of rainbows. Um, and you got four pulls coming. Forty percent are on the first one. Oh, already got one of those out there. One more pull. No, excuse me. Three more pulls. That's true, Rocky. 2009 was the year of the special penny set as well. And those pennies were made in the same... We did a video on it. Those pennies were made in the same copper composition as the 1909. Right, sweetheart? That was the set. I have to check with her a lot because there's too much to try and remember. Three. J MS65 are selling at 73 cents a piece for 2009 nickel. Holy moly, they've come down in price then. I might have to look into buying some. 40% are on the last pull. Um, sweetie, do we have anything other than 68 or 69, 40%er? Okay. Magic, welcome. Leo, welcome. Thank you, my darling. Oh, I got a 69 out there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that'll work. So, 67, 68, 69, 40 percenters. And then you got two rainbows. Or one tone coin and a, and a rainbow wannabe. Let's put it that way, as Ida would say. Then you have 13 Nipsies. Nice, huh? It's cool when you find coins that are 10, 20, 30 years old and they're that shiny like that. Okay. I'll try it. Thanks. It's hard to turn around that far. Robert Browning. Congratulations. Thank you for participating. Red line, do you have thick gold coins? You'd have to kind of define thick gold coins. <laughs> and what do you mean by do you have them? Uh, giveaways tonight or do we have them? Um, Tiny, they moved you out of ICU. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Red line, World War II. Thick gold coins, World War II. I'm not tracking, man. Sorry. Um, let's see. All right, Mr. Breeze has this last row. 
10 rolls. That'll finish the box. We are not at 200. By the time we finish the 10 rolls, it's possible to get there. So we may or may not have a 200 giveaway at the same time we do the end of the box giveaway, which we will do when we finish the 10 rolls and the poles that go with it. Okay, let's check them. Green one. Oops. Got a green one. That's a Benji. And we got a Nipsey showing on the bottom. So, green one, properly marked on the bottom, and possibly a Nipsey. So, another reason to not mark the coin. 63 Silver Benji. Denver, I think. Yeah. It says 63, but it's actually 63D. Put the D on there. Good way to start. Yeah, you know, the more I think of it, the comment that somebody made earlier that, that one of the other channels made a nasty comment about they don't have time to take care of each other, their subscribers, basically, or, you know, the people that, that, buy their rolls and buy it, sell them out every every night and whatever they don't have time to be bothered with them or whatever um and they mark the coins and and you know um maybe 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 i would stop buying from those folks if i knew who they were i don't know who they are um it, it's it's sad that somebody would would say something like that i hope it's not somebody that we know and that we that we kind of like you know um because there are channels on here that we get along really really well with and as you guys can imagine there's a couple of channels here that have stolen some content and things like that that we really don't want a heck of a lot to do with so But rewarding people that have that attitude, to me, just, I, I wouldn't do it. Ouch. Soup Luigi Brothers. Congratulations. Welcome. Angie, glad you like that. Two thousand nine Nifsey. Yeah, if we could figure out how to do more boxes and maintain the daily videos at the quality that we're used to putting them out um, without killing ourselves, <laughs> we would love to do that. But, um, Jay, the coins you are tossing back are in better shape than the best ones we get from our banks. You know, it's, it, 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 it they run in spurts. There have been some boxes that we've gotten that you guys have seen. My hands have turned absolutely black, nasty coins sticking together and stuff, and we found silver in them. So it, sometimes they might be dirty, but they might be, you know, good stuff too but sometimes we have them and, and they're they're dirty or clean and there's nothing in there so um 2009 denver see caught that one before it fell philadelphia nifsey J. 
Okay, you're gonna need a robot to go through the rolls. I'm sure you can find one on Amazon. Yeah. But, uh, it's too bad my coin sorter uh, only will point will only sort between copper and zinc, um, and 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 not um, like dates or things like that. Um, 2012 Denver, another key date, speaking of, and beautiful coin. Two thousand nine, Denver. Charles, they actually have machines that will do that that are not that expensive. Uh, depends on volume you're doing and how many you know you want to do 2010 um nifsy there's um is it sovereign shoot um there's an inexpensive one that they sell at walmart i know it's like 20 or 30 bucks and it'll do like a roll at a time for each denomination, I think, except half dollars. Um, and if you look on eBay, you can also find some larger, more professional machines that are heavier duty that will um, either roll to tubes. Um, they won't crimp them. But, you know, they graduate. Um, there's the ones that will just fill the tube. Uh, some of them will just fill the, the little plastic tube and then you have to dump them into the paper tube or put the paper tube on the plastic tube, right? And then you got to fold them or crimp them yourself. You can buy a crimping machine for, I think, 50 bucks on Amazon where you can actually apply that crimped edge uh, if you wanted to do so. Um, I suspect there's a few folks... Uh, that, that we all know that, that may do that from time to time. Um, not us. Um, 2005 Nipsey. Um, but there's, there's little machines from, you know, 20, 30 bucks that are, you know, coin sorters and, and they'll fill a roll for you one roll at a time. And, and they're kind of slow, you know. Um, there's also machines if you have the option to put them in bags like we do that you can buy machines from 100 all the way up to um, shotgun rolls. You can get that for like 30 bucks uh, at Walmart um, or on eBay uh, or on Amazon. Um, I think we have links to one of them. But um, you can buy commercial grade ones like the banks used to have that you can stick the bags under uh, or little trays and it'll count out you know, like whatever denominate, you know, whatever amount, $100, $50, $25, whatever. Um, it won't, it won't dump them in rolls. And some of them have a clip where you can clip the plastic bag on just like the banks used to do. Um, so, so there's lots of options out there. I've actually been exploring the, um, there's a couple of machines that are not too expensive um, that would do particularly half dollars. You know, obviously that's the, that's what we do the most volume of. Um, but now lately with these, with this quarter hunt going on, which is going to be going on all year, um, luckily we can those in bags too. 2012 Nifsy. Um, hi, hi, Linda.
Yeah, Seth, you got to be careful what machine you buy because uh, you're right. A lot of them have bad reviews. Um, those tend to be the little cheaper ones, like they like the one they sell at Walmart. 2009 Nipsey, another nice one. 2007 Nipsey, another nice one. Um, but for for a hundred dollars or less, there are some commercial grade units. 2005 that I believe you can get. I've seen a couple of them at um, one of the local coin shops, um, 2009. And they only count like one denomination at a time. Kind of like our, our, our penny sorter, or our penny um, discriminator that, that it's uh, zinc and copper. Um, so, you know, if, if all you're doing is quarters, you can set it up for quarters and, and uh, set it up for tubes or bags, depending on what you want it to do. So, you know, you just dump all of this in the hopper and just let it run until it stops filling the, the roll, which takes all of about three seconds on, on those machines. I think the really good ones, I think, can do something like 1,500 coins per second. So it's about 30 rolls. 2009 Nipsey, Denver. Another big pile of Nipsey is coming up here. Okay. We still have a few rolls left in the last box, which is the third box. Fourth box is an entire box. It's been bought. Um, so we're going to be doing a, a mon you know, a monster box kind of thing, um, a, a full box treatment uh, on the last box. So those of you that have seen it, you're gonna, you know what to expect. Those of you that haven't, you ain't ever seen anything like this. EBG, glad to see you, buddy. I've uh, been watching your mining uh, activities and uh, following and seeing how things are going. Uh, it sounds like you got a lot of concentrates you're starting to build up, and, and that's all good, man. I wish I was there. I'll tell you that. Janine, welcome. Gene Miller, welcome. Mr. Breeze has six pulls. Good luck, Mr. Breeze. Yeah, maybe next year, man. Okay. 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 Yeah, I just did the first poll. Um, so I'll fin I'll finish with the polls and then um, um, magic. It it depends on each half dollar is different. Just like every coin is different. You know, some coins are more valuable than others for a lot of different reasons, and the same applies with the half dollars. John L, welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to get back to this Westview welcome. Uh, I did one pull. I'm pulling my second pull out of six for Mr. Breeze. Oh, blank one on that one. Number three coming out. Ninety percenter on number three. There we go. Sixty-four Kennedy ninety percenter. Keep the Benji company. <laughs> Fourth one coming out. Forty percenter on number four.
67 for the 40 percenter. Number five coming out. Matthew, welcome. Don't know if I said hi when you came in. Chaz Blue, welcome. David Smith, welcome. Now, was that number five or number six? So, blank. I think that was number six. I think the 90 percenter was number five. Linda, these are Mr. Breeze. I think that was the last pull. Everybody's saying five. Okay, so I'll trust you in the poll one more time. Forty percenter. There you go. So you're heading home tomorrow, huh, EVG? Hopefully you have a big haul in there, man. 69D. If you guys haven't been following his um, his expedition to his claim in Colorado to dredge for gold, he's been he's been dredging up a storm, and it's very interesting to watch. He explains everything that he's doing and all the issues that he runs into and it's it's just been a lot of fun to watch and and obviously you know i've been watching gold rush for years and stuff and i know how that works and then metal detecting and stuff like that but but watching evgs it's 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 like i didn't know anything you know it's it's really cool i like it uh b likes it too so Okay, so you got a Benji 90%er, you got a 64 90%er, you got two 40%ers, and then you got 14 Nifties. So, Whoop, whoop. Oh, oh, try to show off the shiny edges and drop two of them. Luckily, soft table. There we go. Oh, gosh, it's hard to turn around like that, especially with the back brace on. Okay, so we've got an end of draw box drawing coming up. We're going to do it before or after I wash my hands? After. After, okay. So I'm going to go wash my hands. Welcome, Vern. Start Ida's pendulum swinging back here. Move it out where everybody can see it a little better. Start that thing swinging. And I'm going to go wash my hands, get the next box, be right back, and we will do the... Uh, giveaway for the end of the box.
guys back here. Oh, I hung on my laptop a little bit. Not showing on, on the camera, but... These? Okay. Oh, this one's cool. All of these are cool. I When we first saw the first one from Barb, it... it I said I'd never seen these, didn't remember them. But this one's July 4th, 1975, issue stamped from the post office, and it's got the Continental Army stamps on here. And it's got Lexington Concord. It says the shot heard round the world, which is what they called the first shot of the Revolutionary War. And it's got Paul Revere on the other side. So very cool. And 7, 1975 Centennial cover. So that is the giveaway for the end of the box. We have 134 entries now. Jack of all traders. I've got some nickels to go through. Don't have either. There you go. Works. Jack of all traders, you're on the timer. You got sand going downhill. So hopefully you respond in the stream that you're here and clean your prize before you run out of sand. Magic Max, you go to the video. Um, which one was it again? The nickel, the nickels, right? Yeah. Uh, the 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 nickels that were uh, posted today, that you go to that video, uh, answer the question in the comment section, and and uh, then you have if your name gets pulled, you have a minute on that camera. And we can see there's a lot of lag building in the system because of the circle of death. So, wow, Janine, you have a daughter old, old enough to get married? I don't think that's possible. No, no, those four centers are... Uh, are, are there for a reason. They belong to somebody yet. They are giveaways. Um, all right, time's up. Out of sand, sorry. I don't have any proof coins. Great video as always. Cosette is on the clock. And I'm getting circle of death on the laptop again. The camera, by the way, is not lagging. So, the camera's doing fine. It's the internet or, or YouTube, something causing that. Cosette is here. Yay. Congratulations, Cosette. Yeah, my laptop's blurry too. Um, no, camera book is perfect. Yeah, no, the camera, camera is focused perfect. I'm going to go ahead and refresh mine, too, and see if I can't kill the lag and, and, and let it get in focus. It's still a little blurry, but it's better than it was. So... Fresh box, new shooter coming out, David Smith starts the box, 
Got 10 rolls. So, Mr. Smith, where are How many down? How many over? Congrats, Janine. That's awesome. It will improve as it um, Like I say, I'm looking through the at the cam screen and it's crystal clear. So it's got to be on the internet side. So that does happen from time to time. Scriptronic, yeah, that, um, that could be the case too, that our bandwidth here, which we know we're, there, it just went clear. Our bandwidth here is supposed to be, I believe we're paying for 100 and we're lucky if we get 10. Um, Three, four. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. But we have one provider here in the area. We don't have any choice. So until somebody pushes a fiber optic line into our area, which would have to be somebody like then we might have an option, but we have five or six service cables buried in the yard and since we bought this house. And red one, standing liberty. One of those cables should last a lifetime. 41, standing liberty. Or walking liberty, excuse me. There you go, ninety percent of it. Yeah, these are giveaways here. They should be back a little further. No, we've had them out a few times and complained about being charged for that speed, and that they never, every time we run a speed test, they fail. And then they come out and they run the speed test and fiddle with the box and come in and check the service inside, trying to blame it on the um, wiring in the wall. And then it tests okay, and then they go, hmm. And then they go back outside and they test again. And then they go on a new service cable and leave. And for about two or three weeks, when I mow, I have to move the cable back and forth. And then one day it just gets buried. And they've done that, like I said, about five or six times in the last three or four years. Matthew, you have a good weekend too. Thank you for coming. And hope you. We don't have anything else on uh, that's Wi-Fi during the stream. The only thing we have on is we have our two uh, is cell phone and one out cellular. Um, so we've, we've been through this a lot. And it's actually impacting the decision on partially impacting our decision on the camera because you know uh, we could get a we could get a 108 or 4k uh, camcorder which is what we're going to do it is a camcorder not a DSLR with all the different lenses and the, you know mounts and all kinds of crazy stuff to shoot you and then have shut down after half an hour because it overheats does usually we're going to go with a cam uh, professional camcorder 
We get down to two. One is 1080 highest, and 720 as well, which is what Facebook uses. And then they have um, a higher grade one that's 4K that you can switch to 1080p or 720. So that kind of covers the bases. But for output, you got to have a certain bandwidth available from your provider. And we have no faith that the provider is going to um, be able to provide us with that bandwidth. So we're just keeping on, we're just keeping on their butt. That's all we can do. You are the bestest sweetie in the whole world. Thank you. Yeah, I know. But I think it's Michael that brought it up that has a good point that, and this is what we were talking about earlier, and I was just explaining it to the folks about the, um, yeah, EVG, the problem with the, with the, little webcams for doing what we're doing is um, one, they have the built microphone in them that you can't turn off. And number two, not, if we were doing it like everybody else where it's mounted to our computer or something and it's facing me, that might be a temporary solution. So what we have found out is we pretty much have to do the whole package. We're probably going to go more like what you're doing with the, um, with the camcorder, with the Vixia. Um, but, um, huh? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. We don't know that yet. Um, and we basically have to have, I've had a conversation with me techs, uh, they're tech support people, and they've worked me from department to department, all the way up to the personal, um, and I've talked to Canon twice, same thing, they started me at the consumer level, worked me up, worked me up, and I kept saying, okay, it's got to be able to plug into the wall power, oh, well, this won't do it, you got to go over here and do this and that, okay. And then, oh yeah, this one will do it. And then I say, but it, it's got to go three to six hours. Oh, well, these won't do that. You got to go to professional. Oh, okay. Can't overheat. Oh, okay. Well, then that limits you over here and there. And it's got 4K. And then they go, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, so we're trying to, we're trying to do it so that we have a plan in mind, and it includes, yeah, that's true. Uh, that, that's true. Um, it's kind of like, uh, Sweetie just pointed out, it's kind of like talking about videos we want to shoot, as we know there's some folks that, you know, you know, um, it'd be best if we don't talk about what we're going to do, but just do it and then show everybody. And then if somebody wants to copy it afterwards, let them copy it afterwards. But okay, okay, honey, Fernando, welcome. Um. All right. No, we're out of coffee, Rocky. Um, this is back to the local brew. Um, okay, there's anything we put over here to the side, asking the question. Uh, anything we put off to the side is close to the person who buys, contributes me to buy uh, rolls from the box. So 
for example, who I'm doing right now had started out, he had 10 rolls. We got three rolls left. These coins all go back to the bank because there's nothing of value here. Uh, we haven't found one roll that was marked red on the bottom of paper because we don't ever mark a coin and we never wash a coin. The red mark with us signifies the walking liberty. A green one signifies a Benji. Yes, we do. And so if you get one of those marbles, give it to you, and it gets put over here. Anything that gets put over here belongs to the person who the rolls belong to. So these rolls belong to David. Okay. And we find in the rolls of value, whether it's a silver, a foreign, a commemorative, an anything, including nifties, which the way I say it, it sounds like nipsies and that kind of thing. It's NIFC. Those are the initials for not intent for circulation. When the Kennedys were no longer made for circulation uh, to be part of our change and for, for part of business transactions, began to be made by the men just for collectors like us. And you can only buy them from the mint brand new. And for two rolls, $20 face value, it's like $32.95 plus shipping for a B&D roll not intended for circulation. That's what where the name came from. They started doing that in 2002 and have been doing it ever since. They will do it until they discontinue allowing the Kennedys to circulate at all. Uh, the exception, there were two days before that, they were not meant for circulation, even though normally they would be. In 1970, the P was made for circulation. The D was not circulation. It was only. So it's a NIFSI. The 87 P and D are NIFSI. And then anything 2002 to the newest issue, which is 2019, are all NIFE not intended for circulation. And that applies to half dollars. And... Um, they are, we have a video of them, and it tells you what dates are the hardest to find. It tells you what dates, okay. All right, so that, that was a legitimate freeze, and we actually came back from it. So, um, so to my laptop, we're down to 58 watching. Now we're up to 62.0, or if they just gave up on us. Um... Green's still frozen on the laptop. What the heck is going on? There we go. Yeah, I don't know why the number of viewers dropped bad. We're almost at 200 thumbs up, which would be the next giveaway. I got to do David's draws, though, or pulls, right? Yeah. yeah. So I've got six pulls. That's what I was thinking, Bonnie. Forty percent are on poll number one. Blank on poll number two. Blank on number three. 
come on. Yeah, now the focus is crystal clear. 40% on number four. Number five coming out. Forty percent are on number five. And number six come out. Glastron, that was about 10, 15 minutes ago, man. That's how bad your lag is. Blank on the last pull. So, David, you got you wound up with three 40 percenter and your walking liberty 90 percenter from the marked roll. Thank you very much, David. Wish, as always, that it could be more. I'll try and speed this up a little bit in case the camera is going to quit on us or the internet is going to quit on us or whatever. Because um, this is only box number two and we have four. A and B, two rolls. No marked rolls. Good luck, A and B. Up, oh, we're over 200. You want to do the giveaway or finish the kids? Finish the kids. I, that's that's kind of what I was thinking. All right, we'll finish the kids. It's two rolls and one pull. They're little guys. Having a rough time, so let's kind of cheer them up, and then we'll do the uh, the 200 giveaway. Oh man, Tony. You still got Circle of Death. We've got a crystal clear screen now. And we cut the cord on our TV like a year or two ago. So all we have coming in the house now is the internet signal. There's nothing competing for that internet signal in our house. Looks like it's going to reconnect. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. There it goes. All right. Ah, blank. Sorry, boys. Struck out. Nothing in the rolls and didn't get anything good in the polls. In the poll. So now we do the 200. Uh, thumbs up giveaway, which the other envelope? No. Oh, 64 half dollar. Gotcha. 64 half dollar, 90 percenter for 200 likes. Had 134 entries, got 138 entries. Good luck, everybody. M and M and K, I have no proof nickels. Thank you, J and B, nice video. That's a qualifier. M and M and K. Yeah, it did go blurry again. What the heck? Eminem and K just got here. Good timing. So you got a nice shiny 90% 1964. Thank you very much. Congratulations. And 
we're going to try and kick it in gear here and see if we can't do this without the what? Oh. Robert Henry's up next. He got five rolls. Black marked roll. And Puppy is just not happy tonight. Are you going to go under the table finally? Yay! 67, 40 percenter. Yeah, I know. Oh no, I'm not even going to say it. You're welcome, boys. That's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. But you get up and you keep doing it. What do you think, sweetie? Wanna be? Okay. She, she says officially wannabe. It's uh, gunmetal blue on this side. It's got a little bit of pink where the one is. On this side, it's still kind of a goldish color. And if I turn it carefully here, back is two tone. So the front has more color than the rear. It's a 1980. All right, Robert, take care. Carlos, welcome. These are Robert Henry's. Last box, we had a ton of Nifsies. This box, I think we've had a couple of rainbows or wannabes. I don't know if we've had any Nifsies. Do you remember, sweetie? We did not? Okay. That's what I thought. My screen just went out of focus again. Camera's still working nice and clear. I don't know what's causing that. I wonder if they're doing repairs to the system because of the storms the last couple days. And that kicking us. Like, um... When was it the other night when, when I was trying to work and it was out till 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or whatever it was? When we wanted to work. Yeah, that was when we wanted to work and it was, it was out. It was supposed to be restored by 2 p.m. <laughs> I 
was like 11 p.m. when it finally came back online. Oh, poor baby. Robert has three pulls. Ninety percent on the first pull. Sixty four. Second pull is a blank for Robert. Last pull for Robert. Forty percent. What? I'm good for right now. Uh, 64 90 percenter, two 40 percenters, and a rainbow wannabe. 1980, looks like Philadelphia. So, thank you very much, Robert. Oh. Next up, my turn, my turn, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Five rolls. Um, no marked rolls and no evidence of uh, silver enders, but we'll see what's in the rolls. Good luck, Ida. Hat Nation. Not yet. We're on box number two. About halfway through. Box number one was a ton of Nipsies. I mean, a lot. Box number two has been a little on the dry side. And we got some very cool giveaways. We've run out of the 2017 P penny rolls for end of the box. So tonight there, two of them anyway, are 90% uh, 64 Kennedy. Gave one away. Uh, no, take that back. No, take that back. Yeah. No, that'll be the bicentennial for the end of the box, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Barbara's bicentennial at the end of this box. And then we've got uh, George Washington and we've got the Eagle commemorative coin. Those will be for end of box three and four. 
and so this one will be for 250 the 90 percenter and Ike will be for 300 on the likes The fourth box is a full box, and somebody bought that, so we will be doing the full box treatment on box number four. The entire box goes to them, and then the they get 12 pulls, and then they get two special silver poles from a different bag and um, they will um, no doubt walk away with quite a bit of silver it's usually how it works Yeah, either the rainbows are hiding tonight, at least in this box. Although, no, we had, I think we had two in this box, but the other box definitely had more. has got three poles. Forty percenter on the first pole. Sixty eight. Pole number two. Forty percenter. Sixty seven. Last pull. Blank on the last pull, Ida. So you got a sixty seven and sixty eight, two forty percenters. Thank you very much. As always, for everything, check out her Facebook page and those quilts that she makes, like she made for us and like she made for John L. and Donna Mac, and like she's going to make for uh, somebody that she's going to pull off the list of donors to the camera fund. So we appreciate that, and somebody's going to get a really, really beautiful heirloom quilt with all the goodies so thank you Ida, for everything next up Scott Finley five rolls they just happen to be sitting right there on the back row waiting for us a little piece of cardboard laying on top of that one green one Benji 
Good luck, Scott Finley. Benji does look pretty good for his age. Pisces, welcome. I don't know if I said hi. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Is that the one they like? All right, oh, wow, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, I bet you do have to take orders now for Christmas. Can't believe it's already July. And they announced today the f possibility of the first Gulf tropical storm slash could be come hurricane. Looks to be just about due west of uh, Tampa, maybe. So hopefully it doesn't amount to anything. A lot of those storms in that area wind up riding up across Georgia and coming straight up the coast our way. And we wind up flooding, which on top of a week's worth of solid downpours, pretty much every high tide we're getting localized flooding here now. So yeah, those earthquakes are, are uh, within 15 miles of uh, a housing subdivision right by, well, about 15 miles from Edwards Air Force Base, number one. And I've got a whole lot of pilot friends that live in one subdivision a couple of miles from Edwards, between Edwards and where the earthquake epicenter is. So I was on the phone with them after the first one yesterday. I have not talked to them today after the... Uh, the two bigger ones they were kind of blowing it off like yeah hey, you know it's not a big deal it was kind of a roller wasn't a shaker shakers are bad but this one was a roller it's like oh okay as long as they're okay i mean literally i think that one subdivision i have probably about 12 friends in there at least, uh, let's see, 40 percent are on the first pull. There's one. Set pull. Carlos, this is not the last box. This is the second box. We have a third box like this, and then we have a fourth box, which belongs to two people. 40 percent are on the second pull. Last pull. Forty percent on the last pull. So, got, and we are sold out of rolls. 
Got three 40 percenters and a 51 Benji, 90 percenter. Thank you, Scott Finley. Next one up, S. Robbins, five rolls. Denise, welcome. Uh, D, we actually ordered one of those. We haven't got it yet, obviously, but uh, should be here probably in a couple days, I would think. 40 percenter on Mark Roll for S. Robin. 67, another pretty one. My screen's frozen too on the laptop, but the camera's working just fine. I'm frozen? Shoot. Oh, man. Yeah, and this one's a hard freeze. Kimberly B., how you doing? Sissy, how you doing? that's going to help either. Aspasia, yep, I see it. Um, all right, we're going to give it a second here and see if it comes back. If not, then we will go to 2.0, but um, we're trying not to. Yeah, I know, I've been thinking about that for the last, you know, since, since this issue started tonight, that uh, we need to get it. I'm I'm tired of this waffling back and forth, and that's on me. It's it's I'm the one in charge of doing the research on it, and every time I talk to somebody, everybody's got a different opinion. We'll do this, do that, do this, do that. It's like ah. All right. So yeah, it has been a while since we've done a 2.0. So you know, but. That phone's blazing hot. It was plugged in for a long time. I can't. The problem with this phone, unlike like if it was in phone mode, it would show me the battery strength, and I could leave it unplugged for a while and hope that it would come back on. It doesn't show me battery strength. And if I rotate the phone, then then it forces me to go to 2.0. Yeah, no kidding, Rocky. Okay. 
Oh, we've put we've put like a bag of frozen peas on it and all kinds of stuff trying to uh all right Donna Max, sweet dreams, see you tomorrow. Um feel better. Ambrosius, we really appreciate that. We we will get it taken care of this week, I promise. I don't know how quickly we can get it here and get it all working, but the phone is cooling down. So... Yeah, that's a good point, B says. If, if people have questions, now's probably a good time because I'm standing up looking at the phone and I can see the stream, uh, the chat, but, um, um, you know, it, it might cool down in a couple of minutes and go back live, but, um, so now might be a good question time. Night, Ida. Night, P. Nelson. Uh, puppy is a big brown 70-pound hunk of meat. <laughs> Tiny, you guys going to go to bed? Oh, man, the Atari, that's going way back. I remember when, I, when my stepdad bought us Pong on the TV. <laughs> we thought that was like, you know, wow. <laughs> okay, good. So how are you feeling, Tiny? They got you moved to a regular room, so that's a good upgrade. Yeah, Pong was actually a lot of fun. It was a little slow, but it was it was uh it was a lot of fun. Oh, you're back in ICU? Oh, man. Okay. DC Bingo. How can I identify a proof penny that wasn't an S? Um, you have to look at the finish on the coin to other circulation finish coins. So we've got a video on that uh, that talks about the different finishes on, on the coin. So it'll show you a business strike, which is what we use in our, in our transactions. It's our pocket change. And then it'll show you a proof strike. And, um, and then it'll show you things like cameo, deep cameo, that kind of stuff. Uh, special finishes, you know. Um, but usually it's pretty obvious between a uh, proof and a business strike because one is very dull and one is very shiny. Yahira Suri, welcome. Got here just in time for a camera freeze. And we're starting to lose folks, babe. So I think we need to switch to 2.0. No, I did not. Okay, so I'm going to put the charger back in. Nope. So, all right. So we're going to go to, um, we're going to go to 2.0. And, uh, and we got to reboot the phone, which means we're going to be dead for a couple of minutes, and then we'll come back as 2.0. So thanks for sticking with us, guys, and we will be live again here in about 
three to five minutes at the most.